In this look back into the Newswatch 16 archives, WWF professional wrestler Paul Orndorff had his day in court after he allegedly roughed up some fans after a wrestling match at the Scranton CYC. Bob Reynolds has the story from April 24th, 1984. Professional wrestler Mr. Wonderful had his day in court today. He's accused of punching a Scranton spectator at a wrestling match earlier this month. Newswatch 16's Bob Reynolds says Mr. Wonderful may be in for even more trouble. Paul Orndorff is also known as Mr. Wonderful, and he was released without bail after he turned himself in at Scranton Police Headquarters. Investigators arrested the former football pro turned wrestler for beating up on 81-year-old Elmer Bymuller following a wrestling match at the CYC. Already there's talk of dropping all the charges and settling the whole thing out of court. But Newswatch 16 has learned that Paul Orndorff's problems may just be starting. Martin Underhill of Nicholson says he too was walloped by Orndorff while his brother Francis watched. I got it right here in the right cheek. And then uh, my knee and back is bothering me quite a bit. It's at this point that the controversy gets even a little bit steamier, and it appears that the Scranton Police Department is being drawn into the dispute. That's because Francis Underhill says when he saw what had happened to his brother, he went to several Scranton police officers to try to tell them what had happened. I told him that he hit my brother, and he just told me to get out of here. Come on, he says. He screamed at me. The Underhills know the allegations are serious, but they say they're serious too, and they want Mr. Wonderful arrested. To back up their claims, the Underhills were interviewed by the district attorney's office. Meanwhile, Police Chief Robert Williams says an investigation into the allegations against some of his men is presently underway. Bob Reynolds, Newswatch 16, Scranton. That was from 1984. If you want more from the archives, you can find more on YouTube, WNEP Plus, and also on Fire TV.